Wow! Welcome to Sea Rock Online. We are super, super, super excited to have you join us for service today. Before we start the praise and worship today, let us pray. Father, we thank you and we give you praise. We ask that you help us praise you as we ought to. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's go!
that was great in that same attitude very focused to the king of kings and the lord of lords let us worship our god who reigns and reigns forevermore so you can kneel down close your eyes whatever you need to do to stay focused in worship let us go who am i that the highest king would welcome me i was lost but he brought me in oh his love for me oh his love for me
Father, we thank you and we give you praise. Thank you for helping us to worship and praise you. Lord, even as we're about to hear your word, we ask that your word will transform us and make us better for it in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hello, Living Influencer for Christ. It's another Sunday. Praise God. I believe you're excited. <laughs> but anyway... Remember, in all things, that the joy of the Lord is your strength. So, last week, you were able to go into the teaching, Final Say. And I'm sure now you know more than ever before that God and only God alone has the final say in your life. Not what you watch on TV, not what your friends say, not what you see on, on, on social media. Only God and God alone has the final say. And you must keep using your voice. You must keep declaring what the word of God says concerning you. Because the word of God is your truth. You are a child of the word, not a child of the world. And so you must stick to the word of God, knowing that that's the only thing that is your truth. All right, I believe you have your five items ready. What are your five items? Just in case you are new or you need to be reminded. The five items are your Bible, your Fresh Fire Devotional, which is to support your learning, your notebook, your pen, and your offering. And you give your offering not because God is begging or God is hungry or God needs your money, but because you are grateful. And out of all that God has given you and your loved ones, you have come to say thank you once again. So it's not about your money. It's about the attitude. It's about the way you come to honor God. All right. So today's teaching is another interesting one. It's a continuation of all that we've been going through, and it's titled, At Thy Word. At Thy Word. And the memory verse of, or focus scripture is taken from the book of Psalm, chapter 107, verse 20. He sent out his word and healed them, snatching them from the door of death. That's an amazing one, and I'm sure you know who he here is. It's God. He, of course, you know here is referring to God and God's word. He sent out his word. God sent out his word and healed them, snatching them, you and I, from the door of death. 
God's word is omnipotent. Omnipotent is simply that it's powerful all the time, everywhere. It has all the power. We've been going through a sort of series into the power of declaring as co-creators with God. If you want to know, you can go into your fresh fire or you can go through the GFH live.tv slash fresh fire link and you'd see all the topics that have been discussed making us understand that there's power in our utterances there's power in our names there's power in flowing with god we learned just yesterday that god can create from pre-existing parts matter or energy and from nothing what we term ex nihilo if you look into the story of Ezekiel specifically the chapter chapter 37 that story is titled the valley of dry bones God did a combination creation of pre-existing parts and creation ex nihilo from nothing in your life God will do a combination what we call a combo that's a short casual form of saying combination he will create from existing parts and he will also create from nothing in your life and you see it made, being made manifest oh lord how terrible is your punishment you destroyed the very people you had chosen as your own you scattered them like ashes will they ever be united again have mercy on us dear lord Remember the promise you made to our forefathers, Ezekiel. God. And then, God showed him another vision. God took him to a valley filled with bones. They were not just any bones. They were all human bones. Huh? Where am I? God, what do you see? These, these are dry human bones, my lord, son of man. Can these dry bones live again? My lord, you alone would know about it. You must prophesy to these bones. Say to them, O oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. You shall live. Ezekiel did as God had commanded, and what happened was a miracle. As he preached, the bones came together one by one. While the prophet looked on it in amazement, bodies came together bone by bone and then flesh came upon them then the skin covered them over but there was no breath in them and then lord said prophecy son of man and say come from the four winds O breath breathe on these that they may live come from the four winds O oh, breath, breathe on these that they may live. When Ezekiel did as God had commanded, breath came into them. They lived and stood upon their feet. A great army now filled the valley. I will gather the scattered people of Israel. They will become a great nation again. Oh, thank you, God. You are so kind. God had shown Ezekiel that he would forget their skins and gather the scattered Israelites. He also showed him that he would give them a new heart, a new spirit, and establish a new covenant with them. This inspired hope 
and instilled strength in Issachar. The prayer from Fresher is for you and I. It says, everything in you that is becoming weak and losing life, who has lost life, God will bring it back to life in Jesus' name. Everything that is missing or needs to be replaced in you, God will put a new one in the name of Jesus. Even now, your situation is hearing the voice of the Creator and it will respond in Jesus' name. Say amen like you mean it. So, moving on. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 37, the first part of creation teaches us that you can prophesy to the tangible, to the natural, to the pre-existing parts, things you can see, things already exist. Specifically verse 7, it says, So I prophesied as I had been commanded, and as I prophesied, suddenly there was a noise, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to its bone. I looked, and there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. So we see that that's an example of creation. When you prophesy into something that was already existing to become better. Okay. The second part of creation or prophecy is to prophesy to the intangible as we see in verse 9. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy mortal and say to the breath, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon this slain that they may live. Wind in this passage means spirits, breath. Speaking to things that you can't see, the supernatural. Once again, in, as seen from the first year, and which you must take seriously, is that the situation might be something impossible in your life. Yes, you're young, but what is that situation that you think is impossible, that you think there's no solution to? It might not be for you, it might be for your parents, but it is declared today that they will become a mighty army. They come together and they be, this, it becomes clearer, it makes sense like the mighty army in the name of Jesus. The bones, may, the bones may represent your nation or anything whose transformation looks like an impossible situation. But thus says the Lord, it will become a great nation. In the name of Jesus, it will become a great thing in Jesus' name. It is declared, let's write it down, that the last shall be the first. So say it to yourself. Every situation that seems like the last in my life, shall turn around for good and become the first. And you can write it down. It's important to record prophecies that you hear, either from the Bible that you feel God is telling you about yourself, or from a man of God, or from even your parents, or from yourself. Maybe you had a dream. So you can write it down. The last shall be the first in the name of Jesus Christ in my life, in your life, in Jesus' name. More declarations from our pastor, our papi, as we fondly call him. It says, for some reading this today, the best way to describe your situation is like a game of chess and the enemy has been checking you. Your king has been running up and down on the board. But right now, because the enemy just wants to take the person out, not you in Jesus' name, he made another move so that he can corner the person. But because of that move the enemy made, God is creating an opening for a checkmate in Jesus' name. For some people reading this today, it's your move and that move is checkmate. In other words, the next move makes you the winner in the name of Jesus. Say amen like you mean it. Say amen for your parents. Now whatever it is the enemy planned for evil, the Lord God is turning it around for good in Jesus' name. And that's what it means. And so don't just take it lightly. Say amen. Amen is free. Say it loud. Amen. So dear leading influencer for Christ, we are nothing. Man is nothing. But when we speak God's word, it has the power to create. It takes the supernatural to create ex nihilo from nothing. Everything that needs to be created in your life will be created today. Believe it and receive it in Jesus' name. Moving on, the book of Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 10 tells us that I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood on their feet, a vast multitude, a very great army. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, breath will come into you and into your situation, into your life. Not only will you stand as a mighty army, dear child of God, but breath will also come into you and you will come alive. You will not only exist, you will also live an abundant life. You will stand on your feet, a mighty army, taking territories in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So as we see from the book of Ezekiel, specifically chapter 37, it's not only at the word of God that creation of all forms can take place. Creation to greater things or from nothing, ex nihilo like we learned, to a mighty thing. Only at the word of God that creation can take place. Creation to greater things. Creation from ex nihilo to a mighty nation, to mighty things. The, your memory verse for today captures it. 
only at the word, only when we declare in alignment with the will of God that we will see things happening, we will see creation. And God has called us as co-creators. Yes, so we need to be careful what we say with our mouth. We only speak in line with God. And when you read the book of Ezekiel chapter 37, we will learn from the prophet Ezekiel how we must take seriously what God tells us to see. How we must take seriously how we see life and the things around us so that we won't see it and address things by what we can see with our physical eyes. But instead, we will connect with God, flow with him at all times so that we will speak at, as he commands, just as prophet Ezekiel said. And so, our memory verse, like we said earlier, captures it. And what does it say? Let's repeat it together once more. So our memory verse for today simply tells us that the Lord sent out his word and healed them, snatching them from the door of death. In the name of Jesus, that is our portion. Let's say it again. He sent out his word and healed me and snatched me from the door of death. He sent out his word and healed them and snatched them from the door of death. In the name of Jesus, as God's leading influencers, children, children of the WORD, not the WORLD, that is your portion. That is all our portion. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So let's just thank God. We're grateful for all we've learned. This is a powerful teaching. The word of God is our truth. Lord, we thank you for what we have learned. Thank you for reminding us that at your word, creation takes place. And from nothing to great things from even things that seem like they existed to even better and mightier things. Lord, we say thank you. And we say in the name of Jesus as declared in the fresh fire, the Father, be unto us according to your word. Be it unto us, be it unto our parents, be it unto our loved ones, according to your word and your promises. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Lord, we thank you. All right, leading influences for Christ. Stay blessed. God loves you. God thinks highly of you. There's nothing you can do that can separate you from the love of God through Christ Jesus. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Keep washing your hands. You're responsible. That's why you're doing it. Keep sanitizing. Keep catching your cough and your cold. Till next time. God bless you. God loves you. Bye.